Y'all already know that the Canon 90D is the camera that I'm shooting on right now. It's my favorite camera of all time. I'm still happy to this day that I own this camera. Now, with the Canon 90D, I have a handful of lenses currently right now. I'm shooting on the Sigma 18 to 35, which is one of my favorite lenses of all time, which is my favorite setup with the 90D. This lens and uh, Canon 90D combo is like what I've always wanted my dream setup, and I do have that, and I'm happy. Now, there's times where I want to go sit outside in the back and shoot and talk to you guys, and this lens is heavy, and I'm always trying to figure out how I can kind of not use this lens when I'm out in the backyard or if I just want to handheld vlog or do something like that with my 90D. I'm always trying to figure out a way to make that kind of easy for myself. So, typically I use this 18 to 55, which is a really cool little lens, and the widest it goes is 18 uh, all the way up to 55, but the widest you can get on this is 18, right, which is not that why because you guys have seen this lens at 18 vlogging with it it makes the setup lighter you can hold it but at the same time 18 is still tight on your face if you wanted to do handheld vlogs all right now when i'm sitting outside in the back i can sit the camera down and just use it uh, with this 18 to 55 and i can still get a really good shot uh, because 18 is good for stuff like that but i just don't feel that it's great for like handheld style vlogging and since my zv1 is down i can't use that to vlog and my iPhone 15 will probably end up being my vlog device of choice, but I grabbed a new lens for the Canon 90D, which is right here in this box, a little refurbished lens. I paid what I paid for this lens. Let me go on eBay. Yeah, I paid 120 on eBay refurbished. Uh, so it was like 125 because it was $5 for shipping, but 120 you can find this lens brand new uh, for $200. And this lens is a lens that will give us a wide shot. This is more of a vlogging lens. And this is for wide photos. If you want to get landscapes and all types of stuff like that, uh, this lens is going to be good for that. And it's going to be good for vlogging, handheld style vlogging. And that lens is, let's go ahead and take it out the box, is this lens right here. This is the 10 to 18 right here. The 10 to 18. Make sure y'all can see that. 10 to 18 right there. This is the lens that you want to use if you want to uh, do a little bit of vlogging and stuff like that. This lens and this lens still, they do look the same, but you can tell that the 10 to uh, 18 is a little bit, you know, it's a little heavier than this 18 to 55. Feels, I mean, they both plastic. It feels a little pre more premium than this one just because it's a little bit heavier. Uh, but at the same time, uh, this lens right here is a great lens for vlogging. It's a great lens for like landscaping and all that stuff, at least from what I understand being at it's, you know, 10 to 18. Now I do know it's gonna be great for vlogging because I already know what 18 looks like right here. And since we got 18 on this, I don't have to use this lens anymore. So I can kind of give this back to my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Give her her lens back, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way. <laughs> so we got the 10 to 18 and this lens, I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna sound a little bit more quieter, quieter than the 18 to 55 as far as focusing and so forth. But this is a cool little lens. Uh, you got uh, image stabilization built into the lens. Uh, autofocus uh, again it's 10 to 18 and this is a let me tell you right now this is a 4.5 to 5.6 so pretty much the same yep uh, this is 3.5 to 5.6 so the 18 to 55 is 3.5 to 5.6 and the 10 to 18 is 4.5 to 5.6 so again it's not going to be like super good for like low light and stuff like that but at the same time uh, when you see it uh, at 10, you're going to say, okay, I can understand why you would want to use this lens for vlogging and stuff like that. Again, the construction on this thing is made of plastic. Doesn't really feel cheap, but it is a plastic lens. But that's one good thing about having cameras like the Canon 90D. You can always reach back and get those gems, you know what I'm saying? Those lenses, you know, from back in the day that was like amazing, you know, that everybody done transitioned to like mirrorless and doing all this other stuff, man. But if you were still on like the 90D, you could still go back and get all these great lenses, man. Um, but I really wanted this 10 to 18 so that I can do some vlogging and stuff like that. And if I ever need to, you know, if I'm in a pinch and I just need to vlog, I know that this 10 to 18 will get it done for me. But again, it's a plastic lens. As you can see, the mount is plastic. Hopefully y'all can see that. Let me focus that in right there. It's plastic, you know what I'm saying? But the lens looks looks immaculate, looks brand new. See if y'all can catch that on the screen. Lens looks amazing. It looks brand new. So, you know, I'm pretty much ready to try it. Right now it's late at night, but I wanted to go ahead and unbox this because I haven't used it. And I think I bought this on, I bought this lens on September 24th, All right? September 24th and today is October 12th. So I've had this lens in the box that long, haven't used it yet. And 
I just was waiting to take it out the box, but I just haven't had time to chop it up with you guys. But again, I already know what this lens is capable of doing, but I'm glad I got one for myself. So tomorrow, uh, what I'll do, and I'm going to tack it on to this video, is I'm going to take this outside. Tomorrow we're going to back, and I'll show you guys what vlogging looks like uh, with the 10 to 18. And we'll go all the way from 10 to 18, so I'll show you guys what it looks like at 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18. And then I'll take a handful of photos at 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18, and stuff like that. And then, you know, you know, we'll chop it up on the back end. But anyway, quick unboxing. I'll see you guys tomorrow, uh, and we'll start testing this lens out. I'll catch y'all tomorrow. All right, so this is the only time I had to get this portion of the video done. It's like a week later. It's pretty late outside. ISO is on auto, and we are on the 10 to 18. Right now, we're at 18, though. And the reason I'm at 18 is because typically um, I'm shooting at, I'm using the 18 to 55, and 18 would be what I would typically use. So I wanted to show you guys what 18 looks like, and then we'll go all the way down to 10. Pay attention to the back so you can start to see how much is incorporated. So let's go down to 16. So this is 16, my elbow still slightly bent. I can still reach out and touch the camera if I wanted to. And this is what 16 looks like. Start to pay attention to the background so you can start to see how much more you can see. Let's go down to 14 right there. So now this is 14, arm is still slightly bent. And as you can see, more and more is starting to come into the frame. And I like this lens, it's very lightweight too. And it has built-in image stabilization, so that's a plus. Let's go down to 12. So this is 12 right now. ISO is still on auto. Oh, I'm shaky. I'm shaking, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Uh, ISO is still on auto. We're at uh, F5.0, all right? And this is, where we at? Uh, 12. So we're gonna go all the way down to 10. So this is 10, and look at how much more you can see. Elbow still slightly bent. And even if I wanted to bring it in closer to try to get tighter, look at that. You still can see. You see what I'm saying? And if I take my arm out even further, look at that. Look how much you can see. You see what I'm saying? So, again, I think this uh, 10 to 18 is a great vlogging lens, period, for the Canon 90D. I mean, there's other lenses out there that you can get. But with this lens right here, it's, it's, it's cheap. It's lightweight. Um, it is plastic. But, hey, 10 to 18 image stabilization, perfect fit for the 90D. It makes the setup even that much more lighter. Because right now I'm using the Ulanzi MT33 ball head. And y'all know how I feel about that ball head. It always moves uh, every time I put this camera on here. Let me show you guys what this setup looks like. I got my phone right here. Let me show y'all. I'm just going to throw on the regular camera. Put this on. There we go. So look at this setup. You see what I'm saying? Look at that. Using that Ulanzi MT33. And y'all know how I feel about that ball head. But look at that. Easy setup. And I'm, able, and I'm able to use this little, uh, my fake Joby Gorilla Pod on here, and I don't have no issues with this setup right here. You see what I'm saying? So that's even a bonus right there. But again, 10 to 18, you can't beat it. Sorry it took me so long to get this video out. I got a lot of other videos I gotta be do that I gotta do. I'm sorry I said that I gotta be doing. I got a lot of other videos that I gotta do, man. Uh, a, lot, a, lot, a lot of other videos that I was recording, and I just kind of got caught up. Then I had got caught up with the sports and all that, man. And I just totally forgot about uh, this portion of the video, guys, until I went into uh, Luma Fusion and I saw the title of the video said 10 to 18. I was like, oh man, that's right. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't finish the, uh, showing them uh, the focal lens, man. So anyway, again. This is the 10 to 18. I'm going to come back and do another video. It'll probably just be straight photos. I might do like a small intro and then just take photos and show y'all what the photo quality looks like with this lens and this Canon 90D because I don't want to tack it on to this video because I've been holding this video and meaning to do this video for so long and I'm rambling now. You see what I'm saying? And that's what I do. I start rambling all that. Anyway, 10 to 18. Get this lens if you want to vlog. If you got a Canon 90D, put this lens in your stash. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. All right? Again, hopefully this video has been helpful to you guys, man. And if you did find it helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your man, Jay, rocking the 10 to 18. We out of here. Peace.